of school, 20 to 24. I'm, I have it on the graph here for uh, a lot of countries, but you can see, or I hope you can see on there, that it's a crisis situation for most of Europe. Canada is not quite as bad as it was in the 80s, which is good to see. Now the next twist we're going to deal with is the demographic twist. We've talked about this for a long time, and now it's happening. An aging workforce, aging population, some people coming in, not a whole lot of people leaving the workforce, and a lot of things changing because the two twists are hitting together. This, I think, is going to be the issue of the next 10 years, the loss of opportunity for those in their 20s for youth in a lot of the world. And the social implications of that, the economic implications, uh, are going to be huge. We've seen them already. We saw them with Arab Spring. We saw them with the riots in London last year. But I think that's the beginning of it. And that's what we are, are seeing internationally. It's part of the bigger picture right now. And will that impact you directly in British Columbia this year? Maybe not. But you'll see it in the news and it will impact people's decisions of where to live, what to study, what to do for a very long time. And it's only going to get more complicated, not necessarily worse, but more complicated over the next five to ten years. So that's what I talked about, that's what you have to deal with, and that's the challenge we all have.